everybody. We are here at the fly fishing show in Edison, New Jersey. And uh, I thought I would take a moment and show you what I've been tying this weekend. Uh, you demonstrating how to be consistent in creating your flies and transferring that to just about everything you do. So I'm working on a stone fly. This is kind of a variation on a Pat's stone fly nymph. Um, here's, the, here's the finished product. And uh, those legs can be kind of tricky sometimes, so I'm going to show you how to deal with those. So I have a, a size 10 stonefly hook here in the vise. It's got this little ramp, which I like. Makes it look uh, kind of realistic. And a uh, copper tungsten bead. I'm going to pull that bead out of the way to the back of the hook. And getting the thread on this can be tricky because we don't want a lot of bulk so that we can set the legs correctly. I'm going to take just two wraps and then pull the thread out of the way. And if that slides out on you, don't worry. Just you know, try it again until you get it down. I'm gonna then take two wraps of a whip finish in order to make sure my thread is firmly attached to the hook. Now for the leg material, I'm using these micro silicon legs in a color called barred pumpkin. And what we do is I'll demonstrate how to prepare this. You cut them off of the hank, and you're going to be left with something that's pretty long. So what I'm going to do is fold that up and then clip it so we get two, two legs of equal length. I'm going to fold that around the thread, try to get it as even as I possibly can, and here comes the tricky part. I'm going to take one wrap to get that on top of the hook. This leg is actually going to end up being on the other side when we get there. I'm going to then come in and take two wraps. Now we've got everything pretty well secure. And I'm going to come in and whip finish that and remove the thread, then reattach it in a little while. So now, what, you'll, what will happen is when I put the, that bead there, that's going to then seat my antenna in the way that I want to. All right. So in order to do that, I'm going to use 20 thousandths lead wire, and I'm going to take exactly six wraps of that wire, if the leg will let me. Three, four, five, come on, six. And then I'm just gonna pick, come in and snap that off with my thumbnail. Do the same thing at the back edge. And then when I move that forward into the bead, it seats my antenna. So now we're going to reattach the thread and what this is going to do, get that down in there, what I've done by putting those wraps there, or those lead wraps there, is given myself my tie-in point for the front set of legs right behind those, those wraps. So if I've done six, it's going to stick it in exactly the same place every time, okay? So now I'm going to work my way to the back edge of the hook, almost. And this is where I'm going to tie in my back set of legs. And I want to leave a little bit of space here between the uh, flat part and the bend of the hook, because that's going to dictate how we get the legs to sit on top of the hook. And again, they can be a little tricky. Again, I'm folding a piece of the material, the leg material, around the thread pull it up and then I'm going to come straight down while maintaining tension, take a couple wraps and everything's in place. Now what we want to do is grab it on either side, pull straight back, we'll take a couple wraps, try to keep the material on top of the hook and there we are. We're going to come and trim that out later. Now for the body, 
I'm using variegated chenille in medium black and coffee. You want to, I have a length here, it's probably four inches. And I'm going to come in and pull that little end off and that's going to give me the material to tie in. So with a pinch wrap, we do that. Okay. And then work my way back up to the front, to my tie-in point that I left with those lead wraps. We reach for another section of the leg material. And once again, I am wrapping that around the thread. I'm gonna pull the thread to the far side of the hook, lift up and pull straight back, and it puts my legs into position. We take one more wrap, two maybe, and there we are. I'm gonna reach for another section of the leg material, which I have pre-cut. Try to get it as even as possible. And this time, I'm gonna put the thread on the side of the hook nearest me and put it in exactly the same position. And again, we're gonna come in and trim those legs out later. Now I wanna position my thread right in back of the bead. And I leave those long because it's a little easier to grab them and pull them out of the way as we're finishing the fly. So now, we just start wrapping up the hook with that chenille. And again, those legs can get a little tricky and a little persnicky as you're working your way through them, but with a little practice, it becomes a lot easier. So now, once I get to that intersection of the two legs, I'm gonna wrap through them. Don't worry if they get jostled out of position, you can finagle them back into place once you're finished. I get up to the bead and come in, capture. And by the way, I'm using this uh, thread that's called wood duck. It's because of what was sitting on the table this morning. I usually use brown. It really doesn't matter because those wraps kind of get buried down inside the, uh, the situation behind the bead. And I'm gonna come in and whip finish. making sure not to trap my legs. That'll happen. Hey. Now, let's... I'm gonna cut the, the antenna in front about half. Okay, now we're gonna take the legs in the middle. I'm pulling them straight up. And the first thing I wanna do is even them out. And then I wanna get them probably about the length of the shank of the hook. And then pull them back down into place. And then the tail, I'm also gonna make about the length of the shank of the hook. And there you have it. That's one regulation, Pat Stonefly variation. Uh, you can make that in different colors, different sizes if you prefer a darker color. You know, certainly use the chenille for that and lay the appropriate leg color. But um, that's what we've been tying up here today. I hope you get some done and get out on the water. Won't be long until the warm weather shows up. I bid you peace.